All right, welcome back everybody. I just recently uh, picked up this portable Pittsburgh tire changer from Harbor Freight on sale for $31. I've seen a lot of good reviews on it. And the guy at the store says they're selling off the shelves. This was the last one that they had in stock. Uh, I've been recently trying to change a couple tires off of my old trailer and I figured I'd give this a try. So let's take it out of the box, see what's inside, and then we'll get it put together, and I'll show you uh, the mounting process. All right, so here's what you will have inside the box. Your hardware, instructions, Let's get her assembled and see how it looks. And then we've got to figure out a spot to place it. When assembling this piece to your stand, you're going to make sure that you have your braking bar mounted to the front of this, facing this. This it goes up against your rim. Your tire sits over the top of this. So make sure when you fasten it down, that you have that face in the correct way. All right, we have it all together. It took about five minutes or so. All you had were four bolts with washers and nuts, a couple clevis pins, fastening down your breaker bar. And that was it. This top piece just, that holds your tire in place just screws down. This goes over the top of your rim. The tire goes through. This pin will sit in one of the lug nut holes on your rim. So let's find a place to securely fasten it to the floor. I'm gonna be mounting it down to the concrete. I've got some picked up some of these. 3 8 inch drop in anchors, 3 8 half inch by 1 and 5 8 I'm going to be putting them in the ground and then 3 8 inch bolts. That way I can remove it when I need to and there won't be any bolts sticking out of the ground. There it is. Spotted a location I want to place it, it'll be out of the way. I went ahead and pre marked all the holes with a Sharpie. And now I'm going to take a half inch bit and drill out each one of these holes. Being careful to make sure they are centered because you don't want to have to do this twice. All right, I'm using these redheads and I marked off the depth that I want to be drilling with a piece of tape so I don't put these in too deep and we'll start drilling. All right, I got all four anchors mounted, pounded in and seated. Next step is to set it in place and bolt it down. All right, now we're going to go ahead and tighten them down. All right, we got her all bolted down, secured to the floor. There's enough space to walk around all sides. It looks pretty solid. Those anchor bolts work pretty good. I don't know if you can see underneath there. And then we're just two inch, three eighths inch bolts. So far it looks pretty solid. I guess we'll find out when I try my first tire. So if anybody's interested in this, uh, check out my next video. I'll be changing a tire 
and given a review on how easy it works. Again, this was from Harbor Freight and it was, uh, I think, $31 on sale. All right, stay tuned. Remember, get outdoors with Dino.